Today we will talk about the point mutation. If we see the structure of chromosome, we know that it is made up of two things. The number one DNA and the second is protein. If we see the structure of DNA, we come to know that basically it contains two components. Ment, uh, number one is pentose sugar, second is nitrogenous waste and the third thing is phosphate group. These three things, they actually form nucleotide. A nucleotide is, uh, so in case of DNA, that pentose sugar is deoxyribose sugar. This deoxy, this D is actually the alphabet of English, uh, not uh, something else, not written in kind of bond. So we see the structure of nucleotide, it consists of nitrogenous base, phosphate group and a deoxyribose sugar. What happens? In case of DNA, uh, actually polynucleotides, it means many nucleotides, they are present. Two, uh, uh, actually many nucleotides, they form two polynucleotide chains. These po two polynucleotide chains, they actually form the structure of DNA. If we see, actually there are four types of nucleotide in DNA depending upon on the type of nitrogenous base. If we see the nucleotide, this is the basic structure uh, in which I have shown uh, and the nitrogen space as NB. Nitrogen space in, in DNA is attached as a carbon 1, while um, at carbon uh, 5, phosphate group is attached. If we see, there are four types of nitrogen spaces, so there will be actually four types of nucleotides in case of DNA. Uh, if nitrogen space is uh, at the adenine, then the nucleotide will be like this. If guanine, cytosine, thymine, you can see respectively their structures. Okay, what happens? Now these four type of nucleotides, they join together, they form these two chains, which are known as polynucleotide chains. The nitrogen bases of these two polynucleotide chains, they make bond. Adenine and thymine they form double bond, while guanine and cytosine they form triple bond, and hence we get the structure of DNA. Uh, up till now we have discussed the structure of DNA. What happens in case of point mutation is actually these polynucleotides they form genetic code, as I have mentioned at that uh, side of my board. You can see these polynucleotides. Uh, these nucleotides uh, are polynucleotides, they are involved in the formation of genetic code. What is genetic code? Actually, actually genetic code is combination of three nucleotides. Three nucleotides of the three, 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 three nucleotides, they will join each other, they will form uh, each uh, three uh, uh, nucleotide, they will form one genetic code and that one genetic code, it will code one amino acid. Three nucleotides. They make one genetic code and that one genetic code only one specific type of amino acid. So, if any error in out of uh, in these nucleotides or uh, in the three nucleotides of our genetic code occur, what happens? There will be a mutation and that mutation is called point mutation. So. Any error in the nucleotide of DNA will cause error in the genetic code. And error in genetic code will cause the error in structure of amino acid. As we know that amino acids they form polypeptide chains. So if any error is coming in the genetic code, there will be the error in the uh, structure of amino acid at fungi and hence the protein which is uh, being, uh, which will be formed by this amino acid will not be able to perform its function. As we know that this DNA is actually transcribed into the RNA and that RNA is trans uh, transcribed into the uh, protein. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, that RNA is translated into the protein. So if any error in the nucleotide is coming, then that error will, uh, that error will be, uh, that error will be shifted in uh, protein and protein will not be able to perform its function. The examples of that type of diseases which uh, actually, which are caused by the point mutation are phenyl, uh, phenyl ketonuria and the sickle cell anemia. In case of phenyl uh, ketonuria, what happens? 
the the enzyme uh, as we know that enzyme they are protein in nature and proteins are made up of amino acid so if any genetic uh, if a genetic code is not able to make that proper amino acid which is required uh, for the formation of enzyme which is involved in a degradation of phenyl alanine what happens phenyl ketoluria disease will occur so uh, phenyl alanine which has to be degraded by that specific enzyme which is not being produced uh, will start depositing in the uh, body of human and it will get deposited into the brain as a result a uh, brain retardation will occur uh, but in case of sickle cell anemia uh, only mutation only one amino acid it is not actually being uh, it is not actually coming at uh, which was required in the polypeptide chain so at uh, as glutamic acid it has to uh, uh, it had to come but uh, at its place due to the error in genetic code valine will come and hence the protein will not be able to perf uh, perform its, uh, its function as a result red blood cells structure will not be proper and the person will suffer from the sickle cell anemia okay but uh, now let me tell you a little about the reason behind the mutations which are actually occurring uh, nucleotides of dna the reason is uh, number one reason is spontaneous change in the uh, pairing which occurs during the replication of DNA. There is kind of pairing uh, when a replication of DNA occurs. If spontaneous changes they come here at that time, then there will be mutations in the nucleotides. The second reason, um, the second reason is uh, mutagens. What are mutagens? Mutagens may be the medicines, maybe any chemical maybe x-rays etc kind of uh, an external factor or maybe internal uh, uh, it means actually that kind of factor which is affecting it can, it can be a chemical it can be a kind of uv rays so these two reasons uh, these are the two agents these are uh, sorry these are uh, two agents which cause a point mutation and as a result of point mutation these two diseases are the best examples in case of humans which occur as a result of point mutation i hope uh, i have cleared this uh, concept of point i have cleared the concept of point mutation thank you